David Larson reporting live here from Photo Plus 2011. I have Justin here from Drobo, and he's going to talk about the new Drobo S. Hi, Justin. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing well. So what can you tell me about this? Well, what Drobo is is that we've taken the limitations of traditional RAID, and we've expanded the functionality into what we call Beyond RAID. And uh, so basically what Drobo is is just a nice software-enclosed hardware box that will accept any 3.5-inch SATA drive and store your data in a redundant fashion. I can go ahead and pull off the face cover here, and you can see that I have three drives in there. I have a one terabyte, another one terabyte, and a 1.5 terabyte in the actual device. So I can click on the actual Drobo dashboard management software. I can get a more in-depth view of how what's going on. So basically, it's just a normal, it's just a traditional RAID box, but it's got all the cool functionality of what we call Beyond RAID. Prime example: we can mix and match drive sizes. We can take in any three and a half inch SATA drive, no matter the make whether it's a Western Digital Seagate Hitachi, no matter the size, 500 gigabyte, three terabyte, one terabyte, or the spindle speed, 54, 72, 10,000 RPM, whatever it is, we can put it in this device. The Drobo will utilize as much space as it possibly can per drive in a combination of both mirroring and striping and still satisfy a single or dual disk redundancy. Everything in regards to the actual management of RAID is all handled by the box itself. So you, as a user, don't have to configure or set anything up, it's really just Plug your drives in and go. And a uh, really easy, simple example of what I can do is that I can simulate a drive failure. Right now, we're streaming Indiana Jones off our actual device right here. So I can go ahead and I can pop out a drive. Basically, what's going to happen is that uh, it's going to simulate a drive failure. So you can see in our movie right here, there's going to be no hiccup, no delay in whatsoever. So it means that it's still reading from the device during a drive failure. Not only can you read, you're going to be able to write your device as well. There's going to be no downtime whatsoever. On the actual dashboard software, the Drobo now has detected that the drive has been removed, and it's going to give me an approximation of how long it's going to take for the rebuild of the parity of the data along the, the, the two remaining drives. So it's saying about five minutes remaining and left on the rebuild. And the rebuild times on our devices are proportional to how much data that you have and not proportional to the actual size of the drive. So it's going to rebuild, then it's going to go back into a green protective state. But I don't want it to wait that long. I'm going to go ahead, and if this was a new drive, I can put it in a new slot. It doesn't have to be the same slot. I can put it in a different slot, go ahead and insert this drive in here. It's going to accept the drive back into its array, and that parity that was existing is going to be restriped to the new drive. Again, while it's doing that, you're still going to have complete access to your data whatsoever. Now, I vividly remember when I first opened the box that there was only three steps on the box, and it was right. like, take it out of the box, put drives in, and plug it into your computer. Yeah. And it's really friendly, and I actually did just have a drive fail, pulled the bad drive out, put a new drive in, and about a day later, it was ready to go again, and no, no data had been lost, regardless of the drive failing. Correct. So, I've used it, I swear by it, and I have a lot of friends that are very happy with it. David Larson reporting live from PhotoPlus 2011.